Hi guys, I want to talk about metal parts, especially for my polymer clay steampunk little guys. Um, this metal pieces are very expensive when you want to go out and buy them. Uh, they become expensive if you want a bunch of them. Um, in previous videos I have shown you that I have a big box of screws and things like that, but that's because I've been accumulating those for many, many years. And obviously after a long time, I'm going to have a bunch of them. And I'm going to show you again, just in case you're new around my channel and you don't know what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. All this bunch of pieces are computer parts that I have gathered throughout a long, long time. Now, when we talk about gears and keys and things like that, they are really expensive if you want to go buy them. Now, let's say for these gears, I remember I show you when I got this in one of my videos. Uh, I think it's five of them. I'm missing one here. Let me see if I can see it. If it's nearby. These are five gears. Only those five were like around four bucks. I had a coupon, so they become they be they went down to two bucks. But if you know, if I'm gonna continuously be working with my little guys and these parts, it's gonna become very expensive. So I've seen videos out there, especially the people that does crafting and does um, mixed media and things like that. They uh, have, I've seen videos that they have come up with a product called Shrinky Dinks. And is this right here, Shrinky Dink. Uh, it's a type of crystal clear paper or plastic, I would say. They are, yeah, crystal crystal blah, sorry crystal clear sheets and I'm showing you one right now I don't know if you can see it but with the reflect of the light I bet you are looking at it right now and I'm just touching it so you can hear now what I do or what I did if I trace one of these or various of these in different shape and form and I also trace uh, keys or this little things over here like this key I trace the key I trace this one and I also trace a small little key I have which is really really small so once I trace them which I don't have a die cut or a cuddle bug or this or that I, drill, I don't I wish but I don't have it I think it will work great if you have a cuddle bug or something like that you put that thing through there and then I know Team Halt carries a die that it's only um, gears so it will be cool because you don't have to waste a lot of time trying to cut this with an exacto knife or a scissor but I did because I really wanted to see what was the results and I'm gonna show you the results I'm gonna zoom a little bit and move my camera a little bit so you can see the results and these are the gears I showed you and this is this little piece over here this one is this one look how the little they become which is cool for me because I like very small pieces also look at the little keys look at this thing this is so cute the little keys the little uh, this is another key that I was trying to make these are like the keys and then these are the gears now you see from from this from this to this now I cannot cut by hand this shape so obviously I just did a little let's see if you can see that let me see if I can focus focus please okay you, you see I did a, just a little hole in it but this is the result. So what you do is you cut the piece out, you emboss with, if you have an emboss, embosser, embossing stamp pad, 
you just emboss the, the, the piece in there once you finish cutting everything and then you use some of your detail embossing powder which I only have this one this is the only one I have because I was playing around with my tags and I got this one this, this is a very nice color it's like a copper color so it came out perfect for what I'm doing with this right now now once you finish doing that you apply heat on them and they're gonna look like they're gonna you you mess them up but then they open up and they look really nice and they finish with their original original shape sorry today I'm not <laughs> I'm not speaking like I should but anyways it doesn't matter uh, I just wanted to show you that let's say like this little this little key over here this could be great like for you know hanging to a little well, let's say let's hang it here I don't know here to one of my little guys like that see see I don't know if you can see that let's say it's just an example where I can hand them with a little cord or something like that I think it's great and the good thing about them is that they become thick so they're you hear that? They hard, so they don't break. It's amazing. It's an amazing product. Now you may ask, okay, well that's nothing new for me, and I know about it. Maybe the people here in the U.S. Um, know about this product, but I didn't because I'm not from here. And uh, once I start looking at some videos out there, and I heard about this thing, I was like, really? You can do that? Wow. It's amazing, amazing stuff. If you don't live here in the U.S., well, I'm telling you right now, this stuff is really good. Then again, it's called Shrinky Dinks. And I will show you later in a video, I guess, because I'm, soon I'm going to do one of my art journal videos, and I'm, I'm probably going to use the things. Um, I'm going to show you how it works and how it's done. Uh, but I just wanted it to go ahead and talk to you about it because I was very excited you know how much I'm gonna save by doing this I mean they're not perfect but you can tell they're handmade so they're really 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 cool you know and I'm gonna save a lot of, of money and and this like I said they use them for embellishments and I'm gonna do that with my work with my artwork so thank you guys for watching if you like this video please rate comment and subscribe and you have a good night and goodbye.